with Charlotte and I do videos on family, home and lifestyle. I've just noticed, I think my lens needs a clean. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing really, really well. <laughs> yeah, so basically I thought I'd pick up the camera because it's Easter weekend. It's also the last weekend in yeah. April, so I thought I'd do like a little... Bye bye! <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do like my little sort of hello April vlog, Easter vlog all in one and um, so yeah if you do like videos like this please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and um, like I said before I've got sort of a lot more like um I want to do like a spring clean series so that's going to be coming your way very very shortly literally hopefully within the next couple of weeks um so yeah, yeah I thought I'd start off this vlog by just showing you the updates in the kids bedrooms um I'm loving their bedrooms to be honest it's the only rooms that are sort of pretty much finished um and yeah I just absolutely love them so I'm going to switch around and show you that and then I'm going to clean up bunny today so we'll go sort that out in a minute then I'm going to cook a nice roast as it's good Friday right now um and we're going to do a bit of Easter baking later aren't we I haven't decided what we're going to do it's either going to be Easter bark brownies or flapjack or maybe all three who knows um but yeah let me show you ella's updates first this is elsie's room i still need to get her some bedding um she's not a fan of sleeping in here at the minute hence why we haven't got her bedding yet but yeah it needs to get us some bedding um ignore the towel on the radiator but we got her these cute little uh, well she got some um birthday money from her nanny so this is what this went towards i um, got a couple of prints these are from Everly Rose Prince, I think it's called. I'll leave it linked down below. It's on Instagram. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. Absolutely so happy with those. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'll just show you her little Easter shelfie in her room. Though the kids pulled two of these off. So there was four eggs there. One's hanging on there. Oh, thanks, Jakey. And then in Jacob's room, we've got a bit of a mess down there, so ignore that, but you know, kids and toys. Um, so this is his new bedding. Um, also, I don't know if you've seen, you've probably seen it like clips in the clean with me's and stuff. Um, yeah, sorry, like I was saying, um, you've probably seen in the clips in the clean with me's that I've actually changed this around when I originally done his room. So he did have like his bed down there and then I had like all the units over there because we're going to have that as like the play wall. But Jacob actually suggested to turn it around this way and I actually much prefer it. It's just much more cosier. Got to sort out his toys. It's just been his birthday and there's just toys everywhere as you can see but anyways so this is his new duvet set from um chapter b that billy fairs range i'm sorry i hope you can hear me after all the chattering over there um from tesco's um so we've got this again this is all out of his birthday money so we've got this we've got this really cute um what dinosaurs this jakey yes baby and got the fitted matching fitted sheet as well and then again, yeah, we do need to sort because there was a shelf there, so I've just got to fill those in, take the plugs out, fill them in, and just top up the paint. Okay, so on this wall, we've now got um, these prints again from the same shop. Um, and I got the frames from BM, absolutely adore these. Um, they're so so nice she does do them in different um colors she's got like a more sort of natural one there's a bright sort of pinky one and then there's like a pastel colored one but yeah absolutely love those for in here um i don't know if i just mentioned the frames are from b m um but yeah i thought for this large wall i think the larger frames with like the a4 prints it just works really nicely um but yeah i'm so happy with those really happy are you happy yeah. yeah and then so on here i just want to get like one of those peg rails to sort of put like his rainbow like pop those on peg rail there and then on here he wants a world map so i think from the same shop i'm going to get um a world map print that's got like the wooden hanging frame hanging frame are they called um so yeah i want to get one for there actually i'll show you as well in ella's room um I want to get her a peg rail here and then also get her a world map there yeah. um but yeah and also she's obsessed with dinosaurs at the minute so i might actually get her one of those dinosaur prints to put up here but 
yeah, so that's yeah. their room. Um, so I've got a bit of rubbish in my hand from their snacks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go sort out the bunnies now and then we will come back in, do a bit of baking with you guys, spend a bit of Good Friday with you. Tomorrow we've just got another sort of chill day. Yes, baby. Tomorrow yeah. we've got another sort of chilled day around yeah. the house. Um, and then Sunday, it's actually Shaz's birthday, so we're going to a place called Knoll in Seven Oaks. It's a national trust. Um, yeah, so we're going to spend the day there. But again, sort of throughout the video, I will do like my monthly favourites. Um, like all that sort of stuff like I did last month because I really enjoyed doing that. And it's also quite nice to sort of look back on. Also, I really love watching vlogs like do like monthly favours and that and give recommendations so anyway let's go sort the bunnies out and then we will do some baking sorry i look a bit windswept i just went and done the bunnies and the weather's not brilliant for easter weekend so we're going to make our chocolate bark now i've literally just popped a bar of this um and they didn't have any of the milk chocolate version so i've just grabbed some galaxy literally just going to pop it on a baking tray I'm going to put it in at just under 100. I think it's for like five minutes because I don't have a microwave. Um, and then I'm going to let the kids decorate it with some. We've got some Easter sprinkles. Literally, if you have sprinkles and like white chocolate to decorate anything with, you can literally make anything themed, I've decided. Um, I've got a couple of these, the Malteser bunnies. And I've got some mini eggs, but I'm going to smash these up because obviously my two are too young to eat like whole mini eggs. Um... I know this doesn't seem like a lot, and I'm divvying up the chocolate, but I mean, these are 120 now, guys. 120. I know that seems really cheapskatish, and I'm sorry if it does, but yeah, so we're rationing out the chocolates. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, and I'll show you when they're decorating it. Yeah. You can definitely do some cooking. Okay. Right. <laughs> right behind that, this train might be a bit. Oh, it's cooled down. Fabulous. Right. Yeah. So we definitely right, don't put your hands in. Yeah. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Do a bunny each. Um, oh, Jakey's yeah. done his bunny. Yeah. Oh, lick it off. Lick it off. Ella, do you want to do your bunny? Wow. Look, they're going to be so happy in it. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. And then we're just going to pop that in the fridge. To set in a minute. No, Joe, Jakey, Jakey, you need to sprinkle them about, baby, because otherwise that's going to break your teeth when you eat it. That's it. Well done. Yeah, they're light, sweetie. Perfect. You can do it with your hands. Okay, maybe that's a bit too many sprinkles, but I oh, fab, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but what is with the red nose? <laughs> all right, Rudolph. Um, right, let me just pop you. I'm trying to do it so A, you don't see all my washing, and B, the lighting. Um, right, I'm going to start my roast dinner now. Um, so we have a nice roast chicken dinner today. I bought cauliflower cheese. I don't like cauliflower, um, but Shaz does. He eats absolutely anything. And I think the kids will actually quite enjoy it now. So I'm going to do cauliflower cheese, um, potato stuff in Yorkshire's. And then I've just got some, what else have I got? Tender stem broccoli, some peas, and some carrots. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that on the go. I'm going to do a nice big portion. Um, so we can have it um, leftovers for tomorrow as well because I got an, a large chicken or an extra large. Um, guys, also, I just thought I'd pop one of my... It's not my monthly favourite because I've been using it for absolutely ages. My mum gave me her double roaster. I think that's what these are called. Mum, is that right? Double roaster? Um, literally every time I do a roast, absolutely brilliant. I literally pop um, the carrots onion garlic the chicken in sprinkle with some mixed herbs lemon um i think that's about it um a little bit of oil a little bit of water and then literally pop that in so then it also cooks my carrots also if i do stuff like swede and parsnips and that as well i also just i literally put it all in there um so i literally just use that tin and then i just have a tin for my potatoes and a tin for my stuffing and then that's it and then obviously a pan for the green veg 
so it just keeps the washing up done washing up down so i don't know about you but with roast dinners i used to do like all the yeah. different things all the different pots and then you're there for about two hours after trying to clear up so i'm going to crack on with this my lovely so roast dinner is on all in the oven i'm just waiting for the cauliflower to boil um i've just gone to sort out the kids oh, toys i don't think i'm gonna actually have time today to like do it properly in the lounge but um i found something that's absolutely disgusting and i actually feel quite embarrassed showing it on the internet but i haven't noticed it before because i haven't pulled everything out before um let me just show you this and then I'm going to show you what product I'm going to use on it to get rid of it. I'm going to pull the whole thing out. I'm just showing you this bit. Right. I'm sorry, but what the heck? It goes all behind um, the tray fast unit as well. So I'm going to pull this out. Don't go near that, kids, please. And then, anyone else have a house full of slime? I'm going to use this. It's absolutely brilliant. It was reckoned, actually, well, this bottle was given to me by my mum. Why isn't it focusing? Hello, Canon. There we go. Um, yeah, my mum gave me this, and it's absolutely, it literally does that, to be honest. So let's give that a spritz. I might put something down on the carpet and get rid of that. Oh my gosh, look how bad it is. <gasps> Guys, I'm actually so embarrassed. The th thing is, I haven't even checked behind here because this isn't an external wall, and this house on the whole apart from like our bathroom doesn't really suffer with mold especially like these internal walls um so yeah i'm so shocked at oh my god it's absolutely vile don't go near it jk do not breathe it in let's get that stuff on it right guys i think it goes behind that unit a bit as well but i don't think it's as bad as here but um i'll do that tomorrow i'm gonna have to pull because that's like full of books and stuff so i'm gonna have to do that tomorrow i haven't got time to do that now um right so literally with this you literally just spray it on you don't even have to wipe hopefully the pink won't like probably chosen the wrong color but let me just and then yeah you literally just spray it <laughs> I do need to repaint in here to be fair. And then you leave it. And then you don't technically have to wipe it off. No, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to scrub it off, sorry. Um, and then you just wipe it off with like a dry cloth. So I'm going to leave that for five minutes. Oh, hopefully that will go. Oh my gosh. And as if by magic, I haven't even touched it yet, guys, either. So all I'm going to do is literally, oh, my gosh. No, oh, I'm sorry. That's bloody insane stuff. Um, excuse my language, but, yeah, cleaning products like that do excite me. Um, it's quite strong, so make sure you have the windows open, as you would expect with the mould blaster but yeah so no, definitely no, 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 no. brilliant absolutely brilliant it's, it's not on the tray no it's not on the tray fast um you know. so yeah i can do the rest of that tomorrow but definitely recommend what that product that? our <laughs> roast for today i'll show you shazz's because shazz's always looks the best because it always has like so now i've got greens on mine today if you're my family you know that i don't usually eat these but i'm forcing myself to eat more veg um so yeah yummy 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 we're just gonna enjoy this 
and then probably head up and give the kids their bath. <laughs> This is our Easter bark, guys. I hope you can hear me with all this noise, these sprinkles going everywhere. I thought the kids can have this for their pudding. Yum, yum at me. <laughs> yum, yum. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Jakey. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. This is now the third time I'm trying to say this because we've had a bit of drama, a bit of kickoff between toys this morning. Um, excuse fresh face, but obviously I'm staying at home again today, and I just thought my face just needs a bit of a break at the minute. Um. But yeah, so I had a quite good night's sleep last night. I'm feeling very pink lady in my pink hoodie. Um, I'm just going to make the kids, it's now half night. I don't know how it's even so late because literally we were up at six. So we're now going to make some breakfast. They have had like little snacks and stuff and their bottles and all that sort of stuff. But So I'm going to make some banana pancakes this morning. So I just really fancy it. I've also got some bananas to use. Um got some blueberries to use up as well in the fridge so i thought some nice banana pancakes please tell me i've got maple syrup and i've got maple syrup which is even better um and then the plan for today is i do want to try sort the toys out because i didn't get to do that yesterday i need to pull out the sideboard and finish off cleaning that skirting board um i've woken up with the real urge to start with the wendy house because um for their birthdays they've got like bikes and scooters and stuff and at the minute they're all in the lounge which is really not ideal so the thing is i don't want to start putting everything out there and then have to get it all out and then decorate it and so i'm going to i'm going to say i'm going to do this whether i do this is another story it's because of the spiders guys i'm sorry i am one of those girls i cannot stand bugs i don't like spiders i just don't i'm as much as everyone says oh they're fine they're fine they're fine i'm 34 years old nearly i don't like spiders i just don't okay Mama, so Mama, like you do like spiders so you're gonna have to save me from them i'll go behind your back okay that sounds like a good idea i know everyone's probably gonna be like you're putting that fear into your children i'm sorry i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't like spiders so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there. I'm going to spray some of my cleaning stuff in there. I'm going to give it all a good sort of bash around with the broom. And then I'm hoping, if there is any spiders in there, hopefully yeah. they'll just sort of scatter as a plan. Yeah. Well, hopefully he will do that. So my plan is that I literally just need to, I'm going to try wash the floor. So my mum had a really good idea. Basically, at the minute, I've put the self-adhesive tiles in there from when we had the bunnies in there. And if they're, you're right. Oh, baby, come here. If they're not in too bad a condition, which I don't think they are, um, I'm going to give them a good old wash and clean. And then I'm literally just going to put some more over the top. Um just to give it more sort of insulation really hopefully and um, that's the plan and also because i'm thinking if i'm going to try to take those up it might end up like destroying not destroying but it just might create more work if that makes sense um and this is just a wendy house it's not like it's a kitchen or a bathroom in the house so that's the plan it's a very sort of get the kids stuff sorted basically um and then we've got the leftover roast tonight which i'm really excited for because last night it was delicious um easter bark also went last night um so yeah that is the plan oh my gosh wish me luck i'm actually a bit nervous but let's get on with some pa banana pancakes and adventure out to the wendy house am i gonna so regret saying that i feel like i'm really gonna regret saying that but we'll see i might cut this bit out because i might not even go out there <laughs> Yummy. Mm. There we go, sir. Oh. Yum at me. Well, they look good. Should we do a taste test? Hmm. I'll leave the recipe down below if they're any good. Oh, 
Oh, they seem a bit tough. Mmm. As pancakes go, and I'm really bad at making pancakes. These are definitely the best I've ever made. Okay, we're outside. I'm about to go into the Wendy House of Doom. Um, it's actually quite a nice day to be fair, but I've got my coat and my <laughs> and my hoodie because I want to try and like cover my head. So let me flick you around and show you the Wendy House at the minute. Um, yeah, this is gonna. I'm hopefully gonna do like a little series on it completely, but um, yeah, let me show you. So this is our little Wendy House. These are the they're actually tester bits um but jakey tested them out hence why they're like that but i think he actually chose really nice colors well ella chose the whitey one and then we're going to go in here now and jacob chose the blue one i think they're really pretty so i need to order some more perspex for the windows because some of them are broke um but that should be quite cheap and what i want to do is put like a little carport on here to store like their cars and their scooters and stuff so oh my gosh <laughs> why do i hate okay or well, at least we can get in it so it's just all of them oh i'm so scared i'll go okay um Right, so this is going to be the before of today. So let me just show you the floor. I'm going to get this all cleared out. There's your bike that you've used like once. Um, mama, mama, I need and get that all clean. Mama, mama, I okay, so I've managed to, I've just got to go in because they're about to kick off. Um, I've jet washed the Wendy house. Um, so yeah, I've jet washed the Wendy house, but it needs a good old dry out. Um, we did actually have a hole in there, so it's actually draining out all through there when we had the bunnies. Um, so obviously, yeah, so obviously a tiny hole, so nothing could get in. Um, but yeah, this hasn't come up, but to be fair, it smells quite fresh in here, to be honest. So yeah, it's not looking too bad. I'm coming. And then I also jet washed some of our fence because it was, look, can you see the difference? How satisfying, it was so satisfying. Um, but yeah, the kids need some lunch, so I'm going to have to resume that another night day, plus my arms were killing. Um, so yeah, I just need to finish doing that bit, because obviously we need to get them all painted. But yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that, to be honest. Alright guys, this is their little Easter setup for the morning, for Easter Sunday. Um, I have actually got to come down later um, and pop some of Shaz's presents out as well so I might actually move the balloons like down to there and then put like Shaz's presents on the top with happy birthday out there um as it's a double celebration to, for us tomorrow um but yeah I got this banner I think this was B&M last year because I used this last year um I have done a whole um video on like my baskets and like Easter holiday activities um which I will link down below in case you're stuck for anything to do um but I run through everything that I've got on there um those balloons were from home bargains um yeah I think it's really cute but little reality that's obviously what I would take a photo of and put on Instagram because it's all so cute but look at where I've moved all the toys <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's a bit of reality for you there, guys. <laughs> to get the shop for cute Insta. <laughs> then we've got that. I need to move her up to her bed, but yeah. Cute. I mean, oh, I'm okay. Wow. So I'm just ready for bed. Just set up the... Um, what is going on with my camera? I'm not quite sure what's going on with it, guys. It's very... I don't know what's going on with the settings it's just i don't know something's just not right anyway i'll have a feel around with it in a minute um yeah so as you just saw i just set up the kids um easter bits um i love easter i think it's because of the bunnies i just absolutely love it but i thought i'd just quickly run through i'm so sorry about my skin this is why i needed to just take a break from makeup for a couple of days um 
but yeah so I thought I'd run through with you like my monthly favorites I haven't got too much too many this month to be fair um I'm not gonna lie like March is such a busy month like it's crazy busy we have like I think it's four is it four birthdays this month then there was Easter then obviously Mother's Day and I just feel like my feet haven't stopped um but yeah so firstly my tv recommendations for this month we've got into on bbc the real csi um so yeah definitely recommend that um but again i've really sort of struggled to get into anything into anything else it's that time of year as well isn't it where there's no like like you can't beat like autumn winter tv you just can't but yeah real csi if you love stuff like um like it's all about like obviously forensics and all that sort of stuff but, it, but it's real life so that's really good and my book of the month so i finished um the source by tara swart was it tara swart i can never remember her second name i don't know why dr tara swart as well i should say um absolutely brilliant if you love anything to do with manifesting um but you're probably thinking oh it's all like woo woo and all that sort of stuff definitely read that book because it's not she explains it from like a scientific point of view and a neuroscient neuroscientific point of view um because she's a neuroscientist so um yeah it's really really interesting but yeah if you really um are into sort of manifestation um, and that sort of thing definitely give that one a read um, and then I've moved on to so I was going to read another self-help book I actually ordered hang on I've got something on my glasses um yeah I actually ordered um is it 101 essays that will change the way you think um oh my goodness it is like a really thick book um obviously cause it's got like 101 essays in it um but each essay is no more than like a couple of pages like three pages um so i did start reading that but bearing in mind i haven't read a book in i can't remember the last time i read a book to be honest it was years ago literally years ago um and i loved reading my first two self-help books and i felt quite like probably sounds really dramatic but i was just it was all just a bit much it was like i was trying to shove it down my throat if that makes sense so i thought i'd give myself a break and i would get a fiction book and it is a like a romantic one because i don't like anything i hate reading like scary things or something that i have to think about um but it's from page two and only love can hurt like this um i've read i'm on chapter seven or eight now absolutely love it every single one of her books that i've read i absolutely love so if you love a good sort of romantic um book definitely recommend any page two books um i think she's got a new one out called seven summers so i want to get that i love these books so yeah i'll let you know how that goes but i'm pretty sure it's going to go pretty well um and then i will get back into my self-help books because i am enjoying them but yeah it just got like a little bit too much yeah so that's gonna probably conclude today um i'm gonna lit i'm gonna start editing this vlog actually um also just want to say i'm sorry if it's been like a little bit choppy um i just wanted to sort of get the whole like easter weekend in um and then like like earlier when i was doing the wendy house but i don't know like i feel like I could have maybe like vlogged a bit more but at the same time I don't want this vlog to be like crazy crazy long um and I just sort of wanted to capture the moments of the Easter weekend to be fair and to obviously bring in April um so yeah I'm going to round up here I'm going to just start editing this vlog then probably get an early night um and then once the chef's gone to bed I need to come down and put his presents out and then yeah we're heading off to Knoll tomorrow which will be really exciting i'm gonna see all my family there as well so we're gonna get up nice and early and head there which i will vlog for you tomorrow so i will see you literally in a second <laughs> good night good morning from a happy easter sunday um we're just getting ready to go head to Knoll. i've just got to quickly do the picnic we've literally got 10 minutes to leave and i haven't even done the picnic yet so 
yeah, which we like. Um, I thought I'd just quickly show you what I actually, what, well, me and my family got Shaz for his birthday. Um, we got him this little bird feeder, but it's got a camera on it, so you can, um, I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but yeah, he, um, he's well chuffed with that because he loves everything to do with birds and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just quickly get ready. Um, I'm driving, so I will catch up with you all when we are at Noel. Monday um, and happy April, happy 1st of April. I was actually going around this vlog off here but actually what I'm going to do is basically my house is an absolute mess. It's just turned upside down over the weekend. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to crack on today and get it blitzed. You know like when you just need to get on with stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going to do but then I'm going to come back tonight um, and just go through like my monthly goals like I did last um, month. Um, and go through that with you guys and, but yeah I hope that's okay because um, I've recently done a clean with me as well and I've got all my spring clean videos coming soon where I'm going to really really go to town on this house okay babe I'm just coming we're doing a bit of painting this morning aren't we? yeah um I've got a paint my day on my hand so I'm just going to spend the day um Sorting the house out. Um, Jakey wants to play out on his Wendy house. If there is any more updates on that, I will insert those as well. But um, yeah, so then I'll come back tonight and we'll go through my monthly goals, see how we've done this month. I don't think I've done that well this month, to be honest. I feel like last month was definitely more of a productive month. Um, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll set some new goals for April. All right, guys. So I'm scared to talk in case I wake one of the babies. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I had such a lovely Easter weekend this weekend, especially yesterday and no, I couldn't get that much footage because around the house you're not allowed to film and then outside like, I don't know, it's just like really in the moment, it was just really nice but I've inserted a few clips so yeah, if you are local to Seven Oaks or you're able to travel down to Seven Oaks, definitely check out. Um, but yeah, so let's go through the goals for the month. Um, I'm trying to think of any, I think I went through my favourites for the month, didn't I? Um, I soon as I've doing like quite a long vlog. I can't remember what I've already said. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through my goals. I don't think I've done that well this month, guys, compared to last month. But it's fine. Um, and I do need to set some goals for this month, but I'm not actually quite sure what they're going to be yet. Um, apart from the obvious. Um, but yeah, let's go through last month's goals. Okay, so March, I need to take these off actually, I haven't taken them off this month. Um, yep, so I paid £20 towards my debt, so happy with that. I did back up some photos, not many, but I did do some, and I did organise like, which you would have seen if you watched my last video, I organised all of my actual photos, I got them all out of the photo albums. Um, so yeah, tick that off. Film and edit, upload two video, <gasps> five shorts a week. Oh my gosh, guys, I did not do that at all. I think I've actually done one video a week, maybe. Um, and they haven't been on my upload days. I haven't done shorts. I've been really bad this month. Um, so yeah, definitely need to sort that out for next month. Be present on Insta, TikTok, reach 350 subs on YouTube. I've reached 350 subs, which is amazing. Um, be more present on Insta and TikTok. I haven't done it. Do you know what, guys? I cannot get into TikTok everyone's like oh, I'll do tiktok like it will help your youtube but i just i can't click with it um so yeah insta i have been a bit more present um so yeah that's those ones try two new recipes which i've done eat more fruit and veg again i've been quite bad at that i have been all right with my fruit but my veg i've not been good with 
finish the source um, and start a thousand, 101 essays, which i done. Um, but obviously, I'm now going to change that to my new book that I'm reading and visit one National Trust. And I believe I've done two National Trusts this month or maybe actually even three. So, yeah, done that one. So I need to write next month's goals. But to be honest, I don't really know. I'm not going to obviously do the same with my debt. I'm going to back up some more photos. I'm going to redo this one. But yeah, I hope this video has been okay. I'm sorry if it's been a bit choppy. It's mainly been for me to sort of vlog my Easter weekend and also sort of reset myself for April. Um, which today, oh my goodness, I my house is literally this, like I've got into now the routine. I'm pretty sure I've said this before in one of my vlogs as well. But I've now got into the routine where Mondays, again, this will be easier when Ella goes to nursery because Ella and Jacob will both be at nursery on a Monday. On a Monday morning um but Mondays I now just say to myself like the kids are just gonna have to play themselves like they're gonna have to just entertain themselves basically which I know seems quite harsh but literally Mondays I just blitz the house I completely blitz it like today I've done the bathroom hoovered throughout polished throughout I've done three four loads of washing um I've sorted out every single one of their toys, like all down here, all upstairs, even tidied the garden, um, cleaned the porch, um, literally everything. And I've written, now got that fresh house feeling, which for literally, well, since Ella's been born, I just haven't had, um, because it's always been like, I've always felt the need that like, I need to obviously entertain the children, which of course, when they're small, like when Ella was like a baby and needed to be held and all that sort of stuff, like you do sort of have to do that um but now they're a little bit older and they i know they can play with themselves and they can like play with each other and um, they've got access to all their toys and stuff um obviously i don't just leave them the whole day <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm just saying like i give myself well today i managed to do it in about sort of three to four hours to be honest sort of broken up with like nap times and snacks and all that sort of stuff so Sorry, that's my dishwasher going in the background. Um, but yeah, I've found that that routine is really working for me, where I literally just blitz it all on a Monday. Um, and then throughout the week, I just find it easier to sort of keep on top of. Um, so when Monday comes around again, it is just a case of sort of like good old tidy, good old clean, and then it's sort of done. Um, I only had to sort of go through all their toys and everything today because obviously they've had birthdays and that and I did to just get that done. So yeah, anyways, enough of me waffling. Um, let's see if I can hit what should be my new subs, what should be my new subscribers goal for April. I'm now at three, I'm at three, five, nine. Do you know what? I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to go for 400. Let's go for 400 subscribers in April, guys. Let's be consistent. I'm going to be more consistent, I promise you. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to wrap up because you don't need to hear me waffling anymore. But I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea. I'm going to get some of that Easter chocolate. And I'm going to pop on probably a bit of YouTube first. Got a bit of YouTube to catch up on. Um, and then I think I'm going to go upstairs and read my book which is just going to be lovely but yeah i hope you've all had a wonderful easter whatever you may have been doing and um yeah good luck for the easter holidays as well and i will see you all in my next video take care everyone bye